Hey everyone, this is DWS Darius. This video is going to be a little bit behind the scenes. Some of you guys want to know what camera I use, what editor I use, and today we're going to cover that. So my main camera is my Sony a6400. For this video, I'm using my phone, but this right here is my main camera, the Sony a6400. The reason why I chose this camera was because I watch um, Jimmy Gimbal. He's another YouTuber. He does a lot of videos for Aquarium Co-op, and in my opinion, his videos are some of the greatest when it comes to fish cinematography. Um, just some really amazing footage, and I wanted to try to get as close to his video quality as possible, so I had to go with the same brand that he uses. Now, I wanted the same exact camera, but that didn't cost way too much money for me, so I had to go a few steps down, and I ended up with the A6400. And it's a pretty decent camera. It allows me to shoot up the 4K video, 4K at 30 frames per second, it allows me to create slow motion. It actually makes slow motion videos pretty easy. There's a function, this S and Q button, for slow motion. So all I gotta do is shoot with that function and it automatically makes the video a slow motion video. And if slow motion can be up to one fifth the original speed of the video. So that's pretty awesome, especially when it comes to fish and everything like that. Of course, because it's not the top of the end camera from Sony, it does miss out on some features. Like it doesn't have stabilization within the camera. So if I want to stabilize video, I got to use a gimbal, I have to use a tripod, or a lens that has stabilization within it, and also it doesn't shoot 4K 60, but for me, it's really not too much of a problem because this right here provides the best footage I need. Eventually, I may try to get the same camera as Jimmy Gimbal, but for now, this definitely gets the job done. So when I bought this camera, and by the way, this camera, the lenses that I'm going to show you guys, you can find all these in the description below i just signed up for amazon affiliates so if you want to help out this channel and if you're interested in any of these products i'm going to show you guys you can check it out in the link and it will help out the channel a little bit um but yeah you can find it in the description below so yeah when i bought this bought it from amazon it came with this here kit lens um kit lens is a 16 to 50 millimeter lens i haven't used this lens in months ever since i started buying my higher quality lenses i really left this thing in storage but um, when I first started, it got the job done. And I might as well just give you guys a look at the actual camera. So we're gonna go in the fish room and this is how the camera is gonna be set up with my camera and the kit lens. Now back when I built my 880 gallon aquarium, this was my only lens, my kit lens. And every time I showed you guys that tank, you guys told me that the tank was way too dark, I needed more lights, and I kept saying that it was the lens. The lens just wasn't receiving enough light, and it wasn't showing you guys the tank how it actually looks in person. So I wanted to prove it to you guys, and I started doing research on a lens that was good for low lights. At the same time, a lens that was in my price range, because these lenses could cost more than an actual camera. Um, so yeah, doing my research, and it led me to the sigma 16 millimeter so a lot of videos a lot of people praise this lens i wanted to try it out myself and this lens definitely was a game changer for me
if I was only able to choose one lens, it would most likely be that 16 millimeter because it's super sharp and at the same time is very easy to work with. Um, the only thing about that 16 millimeter is that it gives you a very wide angle. Sometimes you do want to crop in a little bit. So I started doing my research for my next lens and that led me to the Sigma 30 millimeter. It's more cropped in, but at the same time, it keeps the same amount of quality. Now, the reason why I was choosing Sigma lenses for my Sony camera is because the Sigma lenses are significantly cheaper. If you look at the prices of these lenses, this one costs about 400, this one costs about 350, this one costs over a thousand. It costs more than the actual camera. So Sony lenses are a lot more expensive. Of course, they do have a few more features, like this one does have stabilization built inside of it. These don't, these two don't. So if I wanna make videos with this, I gotta use a tripod, I gotta use a gimbal, otherwise the videos will be extremely shaky. However, I bought my gimbal, so I'm, I don't mind buying these cheaper lenses that provide just a sharp quality. So yeah, I chose the 30 millimeter so that I could get a more crop image at the same time keeping the same amount of sharpness. everyone the final lens in my collection is my sony 90 millimeter macro lens now i just bought this lens a couple of weeks ago i actually wanted this lens a long time ago however because this lens cost so much i just was avoiding it and then this happened in this aquarium this guy had his babies and i wanted to give you guys a nice clear picture of these babies because this phone just has terrible quality i wanted to give you guys a full video of how these babies actually look and that's the main reason why I just finally decided to go and buy this camera. Extremely, well, from what I'm used to buying, extremely expensive. However, I will say it's worth it. It does give some really cool close-ups. It has stabilization built in it. So while I'm so close, it's um, keeping stable. And it also has automatic focus. When you look at some of the Sigma brands um, that compete with this, you really only get manual focus. And that does make the job a little bit harder. So yeah, the main reason why I bought this lens, let's see if I can show it on camera. Probably can't, but let's try. So I turn it on, make sure I choose the correct focus. Let's hold it up. Let's see if we can get it focus on this guy. And can't really see too well, but the focus, look at that. Now look how close it is and look how in actuality. So some pretty decent close-ups and I'll just give you guys some better looks at it, I guess with this aquarium right here. Now some of you wanted to know how I edit my videos and what software I use. Currently I'm using a software that I found on Amazon. It's called Video Director. At first glance, it looks kind of sketchy. The price is very low. Normally for a one-time purchase editor, you have to spend around $100. This one costs $35. On top of that, the name Video Editor, or rather Video Director, it's um, kind of sketchy. So at first I was skeptical. However, once I bought it, I've been using it for three years and I must say it definitely gets the job done. So um, when you download it into your computer, well actually you buy it, it comes as a CD and then you upload it to your computer from the CD and when you do that it's actually Filmora 9. I don't know why they don't just label it as Filmora, Filmora. I think more people will buy it that way but they label it the way they label it and when you actually get it it's Filmora 9 and this thing is pretty awesome. 
So for the $35, you get the standard pack and it has a bunch of transitions, a bunch of um, just cool features that come from some music and everything like that. And if you want to, you can always go to fillmore.com and you can add more features to the editor. I know it sounds like I'm promoting this stuff, but I'm not being sponsored. I'm not being paid. This is just a great editor. And for the price, you watch my videos, you see the different edits I could do. Of course, it's not the most fancy. However, it's not bad for $35. And I've been using it for three years and um, it's definitely worth checking out. And like I said, you can find this editor and the different lenses in the description of this video. Hey everyone, I know a couple of you guys were asking about my equipment. Some of you guys were asking a while ago and I'm just now answering. So sorry for the delay, but hopefully this video does help you. Now for the summer, I do want to post more frequently. You know, I've recently been having a terrible schedule and it's because it's been hard trying to balance the work down here, my job and just life all together. But now for the summer, I do have more time and I will be able to post more. So currently I do have a lot of videos waiting to be uploaded. Um, the upload timeline will be kind of crazy. I'm going to be going back and forth in the timeline. Like I have things that I did last week that's going to be posted after this video. And it's going to be back and forth. But there's just a lot of stuff to show you guys. And hopefully we can have a nice, um, just busy summer when it comes to me posting and sharing you guys all the stuff that's going on. Because there's a lot going on. And I do believe I will be making a few changes. Like this tank, I do believe I'm going to be converting it into just a full South American aquarium and that's because these Central American sacos they're just insane so eventually I will be turning this into a full South American tank um, but yeah we'll worry about that when that time comes besides that thank you for taking the time to watch this video once again hopefully it helped um, if you have any questions or suggestions of videos let me know in the comment section below I will say that um, it is difficult trying to squeeze in su suggestions like I said people was asking for this video months ago however I will keep it into consideration and I will try to incorporate it. But yeah, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Hope you help. Hope it helped. And I'll catch you on the next one.